Hi everyone. Right, part two. I've listed a couple of new paper sets or ephemera sets on uh, on Etsy. So I'm just coming back to show you what I've done. Um, everybody's fascination with mushrooms at the moment. Now these are actual um, illustrations taken from a an eighty a book published in eighteen twenty five I think it was. But I just absolutely love the colours of them. There are six sheets in in total in this particular set. Um, twenty seven different images and different cards. So if I go through them, so that's sheet one. Your bog standard toadstool, and then these different pink ones. Oh, lovely! And sheet two, and then we get on to some really. That actually looks quite evil, that one does it. That's three and four, and then. Five and six have some smaller ones, and well, I I suppose I class as sort of medium size ones. And the last sheet, number six. And then I've also put on a set of. Um, I know there's been I've been speaking to a couple of different ladies that have had problems with um, tea dyed paper. And because it, it is acidic and so eventually it will, your journals, it will um, whiten or fade, etc, etc. I have to admit I haven't used it tea dyed for a long time. I tend to use just plain, but the last couple of journals I made I've used um, printed. Printed tea dye. How does that work? <laughs> so there are, I've put together four sheets of it anyway. So each one has got... Um, there's a bit of faint writing just to add a bit of interest in the background, so that's one. I suppose, oh yeah, so if I go that one, that's number two. That one's quite a, a pale one, but it gives, uh, I think, an, a right amount of ageing. And then there's a really, really grungy one. That looks like it's seen much better days, that one does. So that one was four, so four sheets in that one, six sheets of different illustrations in that one. I'll put a link to the listings below. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll speak soon. Bye.